All right. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. The Lord to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, doing the work in sincerity and in truth. The hopeful elect, the brothers waiting every day patiently for Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai to return. So we can get out this place. Peace and salutations to you, brothers. Uh, brothers, um, you know, it's, it's spirit, you know, it's on brothers, the world, in a, in a way it is now, you know, we're in a, we're in a time where it's no, really no, no time to waver, you know, you know, uh, how about, you know, shy, if, if there's anything we did and do, or we have, yeah, how about Shema Shai? He at least place that had a place or just had a setting that we should have faith in, in what he said, man, in, in his word, man. You know, things and belief of the confidence of the name of Yahweh about Shema Shai, that everything can be done through his name, man. You know? So we're, we're, as men of the Lord, that's what our requirement is to have is faith in his name, his holy works, man. The things that he says don't happen. To know, to have confidence, to be strong, to strengthen your mind, not to back back away from the, what, what's to come, not to be foolishly playing games in this time, man. You know, not not because, not, not uh, really taking the spirit, the, the 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 wicked wickedness of the world, which is what fear. No fear, fear of the world. Not if you have about Shimon Shai, because if you have fear of Yahweh about Shimon Shai, you will have you will, you will be establishing more faith every time, man. In the name, man. So guys out here are a lot of gaggle of believing that they got time. You know, how about Shimon Shai? Say, hey, he's gonna come as a thief in the night, man. So to know to know that is to know that hey, you better train them lamps. I mean, if you're preparing yourself, get ready to have you get it trimmed. That mean you you know that you're, kn you're knowing that the times is hard, gonna be hard, and it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be weary to some people. Some people gonna fall out. You know, you better muster up that faith. You know, so with, with your, how about seeing our shots, a so many parables and things and, and of faith and of, of we have a lot of examples of of our of. of, of Brothers in the scriptures exuding their faith, man. So we're gonna get into the scripture. Um, we got what you got, bro. Yep, let me get this. Go ahead. Uh, this is Genesis 21, verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that Elohim did attempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here am I. And he said, Take now thy son. Thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell of thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took of his two young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood, and the burnt offering and rose up, and went unto the place of which Allah. Elohim had told him. So he went up, he did it. That was a testimony of his faith. You know, he, you know, if somebody tells you, you know, if, if the most I comes and tells the average person, you know, sacrifice, you know, your only son, most people ain't gonna, you know, you know, do it. So that was a huge test to his faith. And now this is after the most I already promised him that he would, you know, have a children, you know. So the most I told him to sacrifice. Him. And the fact that he actually, if you keep reading, he was actually up to the point where he actually was about to literally, you know, take Isaac's life. But what the most I held him back. But that testimony is an example of the faith that he has. And that's the type of faith that we gotta have. We gotta be willing to do anything the most I says. You know, if the Most High says, you know, take your grandma out, you got to be willing to do it. You know, and if the Most High, you know, say, okay, all right, stop. You know, that, man, that's that's one thing. Because think about it. With the angels, the angels, they're, they're told to, you know, slaughter. They, they don't be like, oh, man, I don't want to. You know, the angels, you know, all right, all right cool. Then they get their, you know, uh, 
slaughtering weapons or instruments, and they do it with no problem. You know, an angel don't have, if the, if the angel told the most how to kill one of the kings of Israel in ancient times, angels, you know, would do it, you know, immediately. But that goes to show, you know, you know, your, your, uh, your obedience, you know, shows, you know, your faith. Because when you, when, when you have faith, when you believe, you believe that, okay, I don't, I don't know what the most high got. Because you don't always have to understand, you know, what the most high has in store for you beyond his acts. Uh, Moses is another example. You know, Moses got scared sometimes. But the Moses said, you know, Moses didn't even want to speak. He said, you know, I, I was a slow time, you know, but the Mosai said, you know, you're going to do what I say. And that's how you get built up in the faith. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so he, he took it. Hey, Mo, uh, uh, Abraham took his son without wavering. He just got everything he had to do. He loaded up, man. He got to, he got to fire the wood. Hey, because he know if, if the, the, the Heavenly Father could just basically bring him back if he wanted to. So, I mean, he had to just go exude. He exuded his faith of what my, it was what was given to him, what was told to him. So that's what we got to exude. You know, we got a mission, man. We can't stop. We can't waver. You know, okay. you got to be on this. You got to be on the uh, straight and narrow with this thing, man. That's why everybody thinks it's, it's kind of hard. It's, you, you think doing this thing is hard. It's hard in the sense of, of you fighting that spirit that doesn't want you to do it. But time is as, as short. We can't play with the name of Yahweh Bashim Hashan, what he's going to do, because you don't, we, what's about to happen is terror is about to come in this place. And what you going to do? What you going to have? What you actually going to do? You going to actually give up? No. When you give up, now you, you really don't have no defense, right? Peace out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Brother Alex, you want to say something? And uh, I was going to say, too, and, and uh, idol worship, that's a, that's one of the biggest displays of you lacking faith. Is, you know, you, here you have, you know, a, a stone, some wood, something that man made, you putting your faith into that. That's a smack in the face. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh Yahweh Shah wanted to destroy the nation of Israel when when uh we said let my anger wax hot against them. He said, I'll you know make a nation out of you, you know, Moses. You know, because they was into that idol worship and stuff like that. And that what after they sent it, seen the miracles, you know, they lost faith. They didn't have faith. They had faith in, you know, these idols. These are the ones that brought us out. You know, so you perform miracles and people still lack faith. You know, that's just like if you have a, a woman or something like that. And then all of a sudden, you know, she, you know, you take care of the bills and then all of a sudden she don't want to and she want to uh, get another job because she think, you know, you can't handle it or, you know, she want to take out a loan because she don't have faith. That most I hate that, that faithless. Uh, I, what? Go ahead. Okay, this is um, Hebrews 11 and 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, he was here three months in his parents because they saw that he was a prophet child mm -hmm. and they were not afraid of the king commandment. And by faith, when he was come to years, refused to be called son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And, 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 and that's the way we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be uh, a refusing to enjoy this pleasure of, of this mirth that a, a, a right now motherfuckers wishing that we'll go back to, uh, I was talking to one Jake earlier when he was getting my grab. He was talking about, uh, uh, he wished things go back as they used to be. You know, hey man, we don't want it to come, go back like it used to be. We want the, the most high to push this thing even harder. But, well, that's a two thirds. His faith is in um, America and, and his day because it's comfortable and it's kind of successful. You got more? Uh, kind of a little more. Uh, Stephen, the, the reproach of uh, the Messiah, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Uh, and that's it. But uh, well, you could have been. I can do no more. By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the yeah. wrath of the king. So we we, we, we forsaken the hey brothers could have been ball players, wrestlers. Brothers could have made money out of this place, man. Uh -huh. You know, hey uh, uh, Moses could have been he could have been king of uh, uh, he could have just had it been in the royal house of Egypt, man. Okay. You know, and he could have just just lived it up. 
But the spirit wouldn't do that. And that's what most of the men of the Lord are doing, man. They, they see they see the ways of this world. They see what, what can happen. They But they believe in the Lord, man. They God. believe the, the, the sayings in the scriptures. They believe that what was said. So, wait a minute, man. I, and, they, and what it is, it's in the spirit, man. Because a lot of Jake don't, two-thirds of Jake and the rest of the world, well, Jake don't even have the spirit. Two-thirds of them won't even do this, man. They won't. They don't want to stand out there. They're ashamed. You gotta be. You a man. You, you be a real man to stand out there on the highways and byways and preach this word. You know, because faith, hey, is 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 not something that's tangible. It's not that you can just touch it. In it's it's something that it's in the spirit, man. Read that in eleven and one. Okay, eleven and one. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. It's not in your faith. It ain't nothing okay. that you can just. Play a magic uh, wand, or is just some say higgle your faith right here, and you can yes, just sir. you can uh gotcha, and you can you, you can do this what you said because you said it. No, is you believe in the name, and that's what that's what's more counted for you because your belief and your confidence that what you you believe that the name was that the Lord said you can do. Now we're not trying to be ball players, uh, rappers, okay. wrestlers. We're not trying to be nothing. But when you have about you shot God is here doing, then that's prophets and and, and and putting his word out here, man. We're not trying to be the the, the, the super ladies man. Okay. You know what I mean? We're not trying to be none of that, man. Fabio. Fabio. You know, we gave yeah. hey the scriptures told with, with um the, the the prophets when it's talking to or the disciples when it's talking to Yahusha, hey, what do you say? Uh, we gave a ball. You know? What okay. you hey, what we gonna Basically, what we gonna receive? You said when you when it was that 28? Somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah nineteen twenty eight. He said, um, um, you know, you go go ahead, go ahead. This is Matthew nineteen verse twenty eight, twenty seven. It says, then Peter, and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Verse twenty eight. How shall I say unto them? Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Okay, you have followed me in the re when you got re reincarnated who came back in the regeneration okay. in the times of now when the Lord returned. Go ahead, bro. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, okay. he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So you go hey, you're gonna be it's gonna be a glorious time because you held the faith. Because I have kept the word, man. Of our faith, I shall uh, patience. That's how I shall keep you from the hour of temptation. Man. Okay. Right? You got you got, you got that. I, I got one another one. Uh, this is Second Corinthians four Let's and thirteen. One. We yeah. have the same spirit of faith, according to as it is written. I believe, therefore, we have, we uh, I have spoken, and we have we also believe, therefore, speak, knowing that he which had raised Yahweh by Shimei Shai shall rise up also. By Yahweh Shai and shall pre present us unto you, uh, no, with us, for all things, for your sake, that the abundant grace might be through the thanksgiving, may it be rebound in the glory of Yahweh. And kind of, hey, we believe, and this this reason why uh, we are out there on the highways and hedges. We can't go to the highways and hedges right now because the 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 the, 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 the decree of the government. But hey, if that shit wasn't out there, we'd be out there on the highways, on the corners, mm -hmm. preaching this word. Sure. You know, we wouldn't care who who who's God for whatever, because we believed this, right. you know, unto death. Right. And you know, the diligence that you have, you know, shows how the diligence that you display and consistency shows your faith. You know, because you know you're faithful. You know, and the root word of faithful is faith. And here we are, you know, you know, we're right now, you know, us men, we represent the temple. And now let's say you're, you know, you're building something, you're building something, you constantly dedicated, you understand, okay, man, this, this guy truly believes. He believes in himself. You know, if somebody is, you know, uh, doing, you know, exercises, trying to get into the Olympics, you know, constantly by their dedication, you say, okay, this man truly believes. And you know, you we're showing our faith by constantly, you know, teaching, by constantly staying steadfast, by watching, as well as praying, by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Because we know it's 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 just a matter of 
you know, when, not if. You know, it's a, it's a promise. It's, a, it's already been made, and we're seeing promises already coming to pass right now. So, what readings would we have to be faithless? Uh, I just got this one, uh, Sirach 2 and 12. Woe be, to, uh, woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Oh, hey, so hey, the Lord, all he requires of us right now is faith. That's all they require of us, because that's what we've been lacking for all these uh all these past uh, uh, millennium. And if you don't have that faith, then you're not going to be defended. The Lord doesn't, you don't need to be uh, okay. a big, mighty warrior. Uh, warrior. You don't have to be the slickest talking dude. You don't have to remember uh, every scripture from Genesis Genesis to Revelation. All you need to do is have the faith. All right, have it like when King David had it, going against Goliath, when Abraham had it, uh, dealing with uh, Isaac and many more of our ancestors. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's because what you just said, the Lord gonna raise us, raise us up uh, to be mighty whenever He wants to. Uh, I know. Do you still have that? Which uh, one? Hebrews. Yeah. Because uh, my precept was in Hebrews to, uh, chapter twelve. You know, because uh, just like the brothers, what they going into uh, using faith, utilizing faith, um, you have to take account unto what is on your portion on on your plate. And, uh, Measuring everything, what's on it, you know, you want to uh, examine what you can get rid of to uh, execute that faith through your works, uh, you know, in, in different aspects, you know, yeah. and then make you make you be a better man of the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. that can be more refined, like the brother said, uh, trimming trimming your lamps and trimming that fat off. And they're preparing something for God, because mm -hmm. you know. Because you believe, and that's why we out here now preparing ourselves, trimming, the, like you said, trimming the fat, using it. You, we, we're getting prepared for for when the bridegroom come, man. You know, because you can't go in here with. Uh, that's why it was like five of wise or five of foolish. You know, they didn't prepare themselves for the for the for the day of the Lord, man. They just thought they can willy nilly and, and play and kick rocks, and, and then when the Lord comes, here they come. I was, didn't I call me your name? Didn't I get a Hebrew name? Then I did not, did not, what now out there with them brothers from GMS? Mm. You know, I mean, well, like the apostles tell you, GMS is just a name, but still, we're not doing that same thing, you know? When I, you know, Lord, I was calling your name, and, 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 and I was calling your name, the Father and the Son, right? But the works, mm -hmm. what, what was your works at? You know, with, with your faith, because if you had works, faith without works is dead, right? All right, God, I got it right here. <laughs> they said faith without works is dead. So faith without works is dead. So you, you, where's your faith? And where's your works? You know, was, but ultimately, it's, it's all up to Yahweh Hashim Yahweh You know, we can't tell you who Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai going to say, but we know for a fact, from our perspective, of our view, if you're not putting your, you're having your big faith in these times to come, you're going to be flat on your face. Wavering ain't gonna help you. Wavering, and when the time your time to take the chip in your hand is out, nah, you can't. You ain't gonna be able to. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to put your hand out and take it back. And all right, man. Okay. I was joking. <laughs> I was just. I was just. Yeah. Uh, 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 then take it. Then try to take it out. You can't take. You can't take it. Well, I would just take it out when it get time to. You know, some camp saying that. No. All right. Go ahead. Uh, you called it that? Uh, no, I had oh, to. What you want me to? Uh, yeah. Damn, two and eighteen. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Oh uh, yeah, read that. Which one? He want, oh, yeah, that's right. Hebrews, head. Uh, my brother Joe. Hebrews at one. Twelve. Twelve and one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Hebrews twelve and one. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which those so easily beset us, let us run with the patience and and the race that is set before us. Yeah, that's talking about uh, laying aside all the weight that's on you in this run that we're doing. You can't run a race with with, uh, with weak tims on. You know? 
with with a, with a weight on, with the actual weight on, you know. Right. With you know, right. the sandals. You know, you mean you're not prepared for the race. Okay. <laughs> yes, we. You're not prepared for this race. Mm-hmm. So, that's all I have. Uh, uh, looking unto Yahweh the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. For consider him that endures such contradictions of a sinner against himself, lest ye be worried and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Now, that was good in verse 3, because uh, when your faith is wa wavering, that means you have a lot of extra on your mind. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main things why your faith is wavering. Okay, mm -hmm. you, you are trying to make too much mm -hmm. emphasis on what Esau is going to do to you. Okay, looking too far ahead. Okay, he's going to put us in. Uh, he's going to bust our door open late at night. He got all these things set up for us, FEMA camps. That's weary on, on your mindset instead of focus on the W. Okay. okay. Focus on W, focus on your family. If you have a family, what should you be doing? Putting in your faith through your works. Okay. You know? But with all that, putting that extra, because uh, when you have too much on your mind, that can also weigh you down. That's what leads you to yep. an early grave. You know, that doubt, that, 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 that extra, you know? Like put your put your shoes, put your running shoes on the window. Uh, be prepared, you know. Be prepared for for what you're going into, you know. Uh, scriptures say, uh, scriptures say, uh, 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 knowledge and wisdom it shall be the stability of uh, thy time, you know. That means you have to build yourself up. You got tore down, now you got to build yourself up. You know. That's that's it on that. Okay, God. No more people. Uh, this is uh, Numbers chapter 13. I'm going to skip around. Let's start with verse 1. It says, And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Yasharala, of every tribe of their fathers, shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. Skip to verse 17. It says, And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, Get you up this way southward, and to go up into the mountain, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and that and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that dwell in where in tents or in strongholds. So this commandment say, all right, the land of Canaan was promised to us. Right now, the land of Canaan, or well, even literally to this day, is inhabited by heathens. But the Mosai said, all right, I want you to send, I'm gonna send, uh, send spies out there. Now you had spies that came back and you read a verse 13 and verse 30, uh, it says, and Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. So these spies that spied up the land, they were like, man, we can't do this. Verse 32, and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it, it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so... We were in their sight, so they was like, they was like, they they too strong for us. But that was a sign of them having faith. I mean, uh, of them lacking faith. Okay. You know, David when he when he saw Goliath, he didn't say, "Oh man, this this guy is this guy's a giant. I can't deal with that." 
He he rebuked everyone else for not having faith. God. He rebuked his older brother. Uh, he rebuked uh, and he rebuked uh, King Saul for not having faith in the Lord for being able to take down Goliath. And he, and he had so much faith that he didn't even take Saul's uh, 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 sword, this, yeah. Uh, armor. Yeah, he armor. Said, he said, right. I, uh, "I have not been tried in this yet, basically." Right. That's that's a huge leap of faith to where you literally going and saying, "Hey, man, I'm with I'm with whatever." And here we are. We're entering World War Three. World, and when you have war, you have to have a fearless mind state. You have to understand that, hey, possibly you could die, but you got to understand. Ultimately, the most I will is going to happen regardless. So you're going to have some people that be headed. You don't think of myself thinking yourself like, okay, if I'm beheaded, what if I'm not even like? You think of yourself like, hey, I'm trying to go to get into the kingdom. But here we are. We when I, we're we're going into right now. We're we're in the spiritual world right now. You know, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You know, yeah. carnal means they're not earthly things that you can create and invent and use them against somebody. You know, we're in a spiritual warfare right now. You know, we wrestle with you know spiritual wickedness in high places. But the thing is, when you are in warfare, is you have to even in Esau's. A military, you know, a purple heart is given to not to everybody, this is the ones that's brave. You know, you, you gotta be, you know, brave and you gotta be bold. I think Hebrews 4 and verse 16 or 7 or maybe 16 says, Let us come boldly before the throne and grace of Yahweh Shai. You know, you gotta come bold. You know, you can simply lose a fight or a war simply by being scared. I, I, in, in the animal kingdom, you constantly, you got animals. That you know, you can have an animal who is actually small and it scare off the the bigger one, you know, simply because the the bigger one is afraid and intimidated, and the other one he's willing and ready to die, you know. So the the spies that saw out the land, you know, they saw you know, you know, giants, but they didn't have faith that they could actually win and overcome. Now this is in spite of having Yahweh on your side, Yahweh, Yahweh shining on your side. You think you know? Uh, okay, you basically, basically, what you're saying is that, yeah, you how it, you know, you you know, you big and powerful yeah. and everything, but you know those giants, man, they that's what they, they they ain't got you. Uh, that's you know, <laughs> exactly. That's the uh, Romans uh, uh, Romans fourteen, I think twenty three. It says, "Whatsoever is not of faith is of sin." Not have a hey, not having faith is a sin, according to uh, the law. We're uh, I got it real quick. I feel my I go ahead. Go I was done. Deuteronomy six and. Uh, Six and four. Here, O Israel, the Lord our power is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. God, hey, so we're supposed to, hey, we're supposed to have faith on Yahweh Hashem Yahusha with all of our soul. Uh, what does it say? With all of our uh, heart, our soul, and our might. So we're not supposed to be. Uh, what is the word? Uh, uh, infidel. Literally, uh, without faith, we we can't be faithless. A uh, woman, that's that's for them. Not having faith is for uh, females. We're supposed to be uh, men of Yahweh Shai. That's what Yahweh Shai. Feminine. Yeah, feminine. Yeah, that's what the word. Yeah, feminine without faith. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gabari, you got some. Well, <clears throat> we can um go to. Okay. We'll just go to the. Uh, somebody go get Romans. Um, Romans. Uh, 12 and 2. 12 and 2. Go, go to 1. Start at 1. 12, 1 and 2. Okay. Yeah. Romans chapter uh, 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Power, that ye present your, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High Power, which is your reasonable service. It's your reasonable service, man. This is your, everything we're doing is a reasonable service, you know. That's what every Israelite man should be doing out here, man. Okay. We should be out here on the highways and byways preaching. Everybody should have, every Israelite man in the hood, we know, and what we know, but everybody should be doing this work. Should, the corner should be filled with Israelites prophesying against this place, man. You know, we should be pushing the word. Hey, even the scriptures say, hey, 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 we are coming together and praise the Lord and face uh, Jerusalem. Hey, we'll be saved. You know, but you said, look, Jake is all about what? What's the what's the next Jordan? They say, oh, they, they got the new Jordans coming out on um, in Atlanta. They lined up on the COVID, uh, on the so-called yeah. COVID quarantine, we, which we know is a hoax. You know what I mean? They, you know, they, we know they're killing people. You know what I mean? They, we, we know now. We know they're they killing people. We know uh -huh. that the COVID-19 is inside the... Um, Inside the, the so-called the vaccine or either 
the um what they call those things they call the swab. The, the kind of swab they use for the test. Kind of. You know, we know that, man. You know, these this reasonable service to do this, man, to prophesy against his devil and all the things he's been doing, all through, through Tuskegee experiments, all the way down to to uh sure. the, the little spurs and spats that they did with Hank and Jake, you know, on uh for not doing nothing, you know, innocently. But it's not but and, and innocent, well they didn't do nothing at this time, but they was just doing it to be wicked. We know they're not innocent due to the scriptures say what uh we say what was the being uh, uh, uh no one died being innocent. Yeah, died yeah. being innocent and what was the right to cut off. So yeah. what was the right to cut off? Man, we was we and, and we know for a fact doing this work, what the scriptures say. You're not gonna remove my, my, my man basically my man into a corner anymore, my private to a corner no more, man. So we hey, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just do it. You know? What do you how should I say about this little girl that was, they said was dead? He was like, he was like, man, she just sleeping. You gotta know, man. He can bring you back instantly. You know? Oh, can I make a point? Make that a point. reasonable service is basically repaid. You know, mm -hmm. reasonable service, that's something you can be you can uh do as a a, a gesture back to the Lord, so to speak. It's a reasonable service, mm -hmm. you know, for everything that Yahweh has done for his men or for the uh, the elect. Our reasonable service is to do what we're doing now. You know, it just comes with it. It comes with it. God. It comes, yeah, right. You got something else? Say? No, I said. Okay, good. continue. Verse uh, 2. Uh, verse 2. Mm -hmm. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good, that acceptable and perfect will of the Most High Power. Well, don't be conformed. Don't, don't try to model yourself or form yourself or, uh, in, or uh, put yourself... Don't be a part of this world, man. Break, break that chain, break that, break that, that bind that's that's getting you one toe into the the truth and the other nine, the other nine in the world. You know, you know, you, hey, if you if you get if you're in the truth, you can't have one half of a toe in the world, man. You can't be the party man Israelite, man. You gotta take the whole leap of faith, right? Because that means you eventually look back. You know, you'll look back into the work. You'll look back and see what you're missing. The girl, and all of a sudden, Satan got that girl that you like, and she about to get get destroyed. But you want to save her? You better not go on the ship. Like they said, the guy Boosie said, if if he can't eat pork or something, yeah. man, man, he don't. Man, oh, he, he he don't want to serve a guy like that, man. He don't. His God is money, man. Gosh. You know, they plan itself, man. For these riches on this earth, man, he said. uh, uh, put, put, put your treasures up in heaven. That's right. Store them up in heaven, man. Store them up in the heavenly things, because those are things that's gonna matter. When the scriptures tell you what, um, the third chapter, um, second, uh, second Peter's two and three, two and ten, or three and ten. 